Hi programmers, in this little lesson I want us to finish up the work on this um, uh, Prairie P-R-E name ID and so anyway the first thing we're going to do we're going to create two little hidden um, text boxes so I'm just going to copy this other one paste alrighty and I don't remember what we was going to do with that but we'll deal with him later okay now one of these I'd kind of like to make these littler I don't guess we have to it doesn't really matter we'll just leave them where they are they're hidden anyway uh, we're going to call one of them uh, P R E V. That's pre this E G text box one, and the next one is going to call be called pre I N O U T text box one. Alrighty, and then we're going to go to our code. And up here at the top, you can we can put it up top of our, um, we'll do it at the top, um, underneath the load. Anyway, I've create wrote the two procedures, uh, and then return a function, copy, and one of them returns seconds since midnight, and one of them return is a routine to create the current week number so that it's always different and you don't have to think it up and all that other good stuff. Uh oh, I did the wrong thing. I didn't want to do that. Copy. Paste. And we'll go over this real quick, but not too much. I call this progress time, and the reason is because that's the way progress captures times. It's seconds since midnight, but I had to create a procedure for C Sharp to do this for me. And so when you call this procedure, it sends back uh, seconds since midnight, which I call elapsed seconds here, but you don't have to know that. And the next one is PCG week. And it return. It's a little algorithm that, um, you know, I forgot what all it does. I looked it up earlier today, and it, it does a whole lot. But it's basically this algorithm that creates a week. Like for instance, this week uh, should be like um, week 552 or something. But we'll see when we do it. And we're going to be using these. That's the reason we had to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to go ahead and lift up the code real quick. So if you put it on HD, you should be able to see this code and copy it. And the same for PCG week. Um, and I, that's all it does. Now let's go back down here to our, where we left off dealing with this PRE ID text box one text change. And we stopped when we displayed um, my name. And like, because it read the file and look for it. See, I start off with this name label one of spaces. And then if when I find me or whoever the right number is, because based on this search criteria up front that we went through last lesson, it'll fill the name field. And so if the name is uh, equal to spaces, it sends you an error message and it sends the focus um, and it's you know tells you that it's invalid and it spaces out the PRE text box for you to re-enter and, and it um, makes the group box the name group box vis uh, visible equal false okay then if we pass that test we go ahead and get our clocked in out time by we say today's date time and then um, we get the fill that label with today's in the short date time string then we have to go through it and we're going to calculate the hours we already worked this week and that's where we use that um, week number one of the places we use that in a lot of places so we close the reader that we had opened above and we create another text where we um, and we select star from seg which seg is the time records where PREID equals PREID text box dot text and the week equals this 
function of PCG week. It's whatever that value is returned. And then we say we order by PRE ID, week ID, seg ID. So we always get the last one. And then I create me a little counter called IX and in time and out time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to count these records while I'm adding them up. And you can see the code that we use to determine the time. And the reason I'm counting the records because if there's 90 records, that means that's the first time that they've clocked in for the week and we're going to create an end record for them. And that's all it's done. You know, and so the code's pretty self explanatory. You know, probably would have been a good idea to just uncomment the whole block since we got so much. But since I'm talking through it all, let's do that. Um, okay. So we've counted, added up the time in out, and then when we got done, we uh, saved what the last in out was, whether it was in or out, and um, we've 